Today I'm sharing some out-of-date outfit formulas that you need to avoid, but don't worry, I've got you back because I'm sharing some very fashionable options to wear instead. I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Now today's episode is inspired by the lovely Shay Whitney. She recently created a video on her channel with a very similar theme and I was inspired by it. There were a few things that she mentioned there that I didn't quite agree with but that's the beauty of fashion. We are not all on the same page but we can take from these types of videos what works for us and leave behind the rest and that's exactly what I did with Shay's video. But it did inspire me to create my own video featuring some outfit formulas that I really do believe are out of date and we can just do a little better. Anyway if you don't agree with some of these ideas I would love to hear about it in the comments below and I know that there is one that's going to really create a bit of a stir and let's talk about in the co that one in the comments below as well but I know that you're not all going to agree with one that I am going to bring up but I am nevertheless going to bring it up anyway but anyway let's get on with these outfit formulas that I definitely think we need to change. Now first up I think we need to move away from the whole cutout trend. Now I get it I've actually even worn cutouts and there is merit in cutouts and that you can show off parts of your body that are your favorite parts. I've worn cutout shirts and blouses that have cutouts at the shoulders because I actually like my shoulders. But I do think it's time that we look a little bit more long term about our fashion options. And what I would suggest wearing instead of cutouts is looking at investing in layering pieces. To me, layering is a more timeless way to dress. It's also more versatile and it's a really easy way to just update outfits, create outfits that are comfortable, that are relevant for the climate that you live in without making such a statement with a cutout piece. Now, the, the other thing that I do find with cutouts is that they're very much a summer piece. So it means that you can only wear that item in a particular type of climate or on a summery day. So that's another reason why I'm a little bit against the whole cutout trend because I just feel that it very much dictates a time of year that that piece is wearable. And for me, I like to have more longevity to my pieces and more versatility as well. So I would definitely swap out some of the cutout pieces and that sort of cutout trend for pieces that are lightweight, dif yeah, different weights and different textures that are going to be great for long-term layering. Okay, I think our days of wearing puffy, overblown size sleeves are over as well. And I've seen a lot of outfit formulas pairing these puffy sleeves back with more fitted pants and skirts. And while the balance of proportion works in an outfit like that, I do think the puffy overblown sleeves have just seen better days. I do think that they tend to obviously create more size and that's why you need that juxtaposition of a more fitted piece to team with them. But I do think there are, there are other options that are a little more fashionable, a little more modern and just more stylish. So what I would suggest swapping out some of these supersized sleeves for is a slight ruffled sleeve, a capped sleeve. I also think a beautiful button down shirt is a good option as well because you can roll up the sleeves, you can wear it slightly oversized if you prefer that little bit of extra room. There are options that are sophisticated, stylish and are not going to look like you are chasing a trend. Now one thing that never goes out of style in my opinion is comfort and also quality. Quality never goes out of style and that leads me on to today's sponsor which is Jenny Kane. Now if you haven't heard of Jenny Kane before I don't know where you've been but I've recently discovered this brand and I am kicking myself for not having found it earlier but it's a real Californian cool laid-back brand of quality basics. Oh they also do homewares which are amazing really minimalist beautiful homewares that just make me feel like I want to create a Jenny Kane home. 
But the, the fashion is just beautiful. So I recently picked up this gorgeous 100% cashmere hoodie. And yes, I love hoodies. I love the fact that this one can be worn casually for relaxing at home on days where it's not looking so cheery out there, as you can see. But I can be all snuggly and look and feel great in my Jenny Kane gear. The Jenny Kane team are also offering you a 15% discount across your entire order, which is amazing. So if you're wanting to update some of your core basics, like these beautiful sweaters, they've got some gorgeous cardigans, there are so many beautiful pieces on option. They've even got some beautiful shirling lined clogs and slides and they are going to be my next purchase, I'm sure. But if you do want to take advantage of this offer, I will leave all of the details in the description box below. And as I said, it is a 15% discount off your entire Jenny Kane order. And please let me know in the comments below if you've heard of this brand before or if I'm introducing them to you for the first time. I'm picking that a lot of you will have actually heard of this brand, but I am so pleased that I finally found it. And it kind of gives me the ability to step back into that California cool way of dressing, which I did recently over Christmas, because if you have been here with me for a while, you'll know that I recently went and spent a month in LA and I needed this hoodie when I was there just to snuggle up in style. But anyway, take advantage of this great offer and let me know in the comments below if you have heard of Jenny Kane before. Now next up I think it's time to move aside our platforms and I don't know how we got so convinced that platforms were where it's at. I think there was obviously a comfort element there that you could get that height without trying to balance on a stiletto style heel. But what platform shoes tend to do is they just don't move. So it does create a a sort of a bottom heavy outfit. So again, to try and make an outfit work if you're wearing platforms is you have to sort of balance that with something a little bit broader up top. That's a way that you can make platforms work. But what I would suggest is swapping them out for for a chunky style loafer or a chunky style boot. Now this doesn't have to be super chunky, but the difference is the boot will move with your foot and you'll just have more ability to walk a little better and walk a little more normal where your foot actually moves as opposed to clomping along in a platform. I think we need to move aside from platforms and reintroduce something that is a little bit weighty, like a slightly chunky sole. They don't have to be super chunky, but something with a little bit of weight, but also that movement as well. Now, one of the big trends this year is maxi skirts, all sorts of maxi skirts from pretty sort of florals, pleated maxi skirts to even denim maxis. And what I would suggest is not falling into the trap of bringing out those maxi skirts with high slits. Now, I talked about these on my channel a couple of years ago and they were trending and very much a happening thing. But I do think that they tend to look a little dated and not quite as stylish and modern as just a straight maxi skirt without the slits. I think the only exception here is a denim maxi where a split can actually help to just give the skirt a little bit more movement and obviously denim can be quite heavy and and stiff so the split just gives that skirt a little bit more movement but the denim skirt in my opinion is the only exception to this rule but otherwise I would move aside maxi skirts with those high splits in them and just opt for a plain maxi. It's going to be more timeless, it's definitely going to be more versatile and a piece that you can easily dress up or wear more casually. The splits tend to make the maxis look a little bit more evening-like and less able to create a stylish outfit. Okay, now this one is really going to get me in trouble because I know a lot of you love animal prints, but what I am suggesting is that we move away from animal prints and introduce a fabric that's just a little bit more modern, and that is metallics. Now I know a lot of you will be up in arms hearing this because you do consider animal prints as a classic or as a neutral, and I do get that, but I tend to think we have just had had so many animal prints featuring in the last few years that they're almost a little overexposed and they've just become a little bit too cheap looking in my opinion and I know that I'm going to come under fire for that. I think that there are some animal prints that are 
subdued and stylish, but you have to work hard to actually find those prints. Now what I am suggesting is just opting for a little metallic detailing or a little bit of shimmer or accents of metallic as opposed to top to toe animal prints which I have seen a lot of in the last few years. So again I'm not saying completely get rid of them but maybe give them a break for a little while. They have been overexposed and it's time to make a few tweaks to your outfits just to give them a little bit more of a modern edge. Now this one's going to be a little bit contentious as well but for me I am going to be swapping out crop tops and instead of wearing crop tops that just can be quite tricky to incorporate into outfits. What I am going to be suggesting instead is simple button down shirts. Now over the last few years we have seen quite a, a lot of oversized man style boyfriend kind of shirts. Now I'm not suggesting that that look is going to work for everyone but bringing back a classic shirt as I mentioned earlier is a great way to incorporate a versatile piece into your lineup and as I said crop Tops need a whole lot more work to create outfits. So I am suggesting swapping out crop tops for classic button down shirts instead. Now this next one is going to be interesting as well, but I do think it makes sense. And that is swapping out leather blazers or leather look blazers, vegan leather blazers for a classic motor style leather jacket and or vegan leather, pleather, whatever your choice is. But I do think if you're looking for a wardrobe that is more timeless and more classic, you can never go past that classic moto style jacket. Now we'll always see different variations and I love seeing different fabrics and textures used in classic pieces like the leather and pleather blazers. But if you are looking for more of a timeless wardrobe and options that you will be able to wear for years and years to come, I would definitely suggest moving out the, the, the leather look blazers and just sticking with something that is more timeless, which is in my opinion a classic motorbike style jacket. Now last but not least there's been a lot happening in the accessories realm and in particular one of my absolute pet hates is long line pendant style necklaces. Now I get why stylists have been offering this as an option for women who perhaps want to lengthen their torso and perhaps detract from a fuller bust but in my opinion they just never particularly work. These long line pendants look old fashioned and if you do have a fuller bust they fall awkwardly down the middle of your bust so they're not a good option but what is happening and what I think makes far more sense is if you like fine jewellery then opt for fine jewellery that is layered so perhaps layer a couple of fine necklaces together and if you don't really like fine jewellery there are some gorgeous chunkier statement necklaces that are happening as well that are again they're timeless they're really wearable they're going to create a nice style statement but without kind of taking over and looking old-fashioned so swap out those you know the ones I mean those long pendants that generally have a big gem in them with metal tassels I just think that their day has absolutely come and passed and we need to move them out. Now I'm sure you'll have mixed opinions on some of the trends that I've talked about in today's episode but if you'd like to see the most wearable fashion trends that are going to be huge this year then click or tap on the screen here and I'll see you there.